What's up, guys? It's Japes, and this is going to be uh, kind of just like a trading episode, I guess. I got a lot of people always asking, you know, Japes, what uh, what players do you look to trade? You know, what are you looking for? And guys, like I said in my last FIFAnomics video, I trade players in the 4-3-3 formation because generally that's what I play. There's no specific league or anything, but we're looking at my squad right here. A uh, couple informed guys. we got the informed Gervinho from LOSC Lille. Uh, he's actually a beast of a player with that little Ivory Coast connection going on between... Uh, Runa Kone and Romerick, uh, and then the inform Rakitic, who actually I think is a to the perfect complete center mid. Guys, I love center mids that have stats where they're at least 70 above in all things that matter. Heading doesn't really bother me if it's not a good stat for them. Guys with 86 shot, 86 passing, and 84 dribbling, he does everything well. Uh, I don't really care about having really, really pacey center mids. It's just not something that's important. The other buy here, I haven't played a game with him yet, but Diego Lopez just picked him up for 15K, guys, and he's got the one thing that I look for in all my goalkeepers, and that's to be tall. I believe he's 6'5 with 90 positioning. So when people try to do the in-cut finesse shot far post, guys, he's going to do a really, really good job of stopping that. So I'm excited to get some gameplay in and uh, see what he plays like. So guys, I've got 291,000 coins right now. Uh, Javi Vargas just sold there. And this is the buy that I just had that kind of triggered me to do this. I just bought the inform or team of the year, I believe, Antonio Di Natale for 148,000 coins, guys. I believe I saw him sell yesterday for like 200k. So I'm looking forward to try to sell him. Uh, all these guys are going to be in 4-3-3 formations. This is my Leandro Lima. I picked him up for 5,500 coins. Guys, what I like to do is just list them for prices. All If I'm not playing games, guys, I list them for prices where if they sell for that price, that's awesome because I know I can get them back cheaper. And if they don't sell, then it's not that big of a deal for me because I'll use them I'll use them in another squad. Uh, for whatever reason, guys, Nomar in a 4-3-3 seems to go for like 3,000 coins or so. At 90 pace, that's probably why. Uh, Rolando here, you guys probably... This is another Rolando. It's not from my previous episode. But we're going to try Di Natale right now at uh, 199,000. We'll go up one. Put them up for an hour. We'll see if they sell, guys. If I go buy any players, uh, you'll see that coming up here. And if they sell, we'll see what's going to happen. So I will be right back. All right, guys. I'm back here. And this is kind of my watch list right now. Uh, we got a Victor Valdez Team of the Year card. And he usually sells for 60K, I believe. So if I can pick him up there, that would be nice. Uh, Rakitic, I'd only make a couple K on. And these Louis Zows, I can know I can sell for buy nows at 20. So that'll be a nice little profit there. And Car Oscar, I believe it's Oscar Cardozo. I think I can sell him for probably 13K. Guys, some people... I meant to bring this up before, but some people ask me what my, I guess, trading philosophy is for Ultimate Team. Guys, in my, what I think is it's better to trade a lot of cards and make a little bit of profit off of each card versus trade just a few cards and make like big profit off of uh, just that few card, guys. Um, I tend to make a lot more money when I'm constantly trading cards, even if I'm just picking up, you know, 3K here, 5K here, versus trading cards where... You know, I'm going to be making only 50K at a time. And guys, if I once I get over a million coins, which I'll probably actually try to get to coming up here, it's a fun little challenge. I've done it a couple times before. Once you, once you get there, then you can really start making loads of money because the more coins that you have, the, the higher the cost of the card, guys, the more volatile the pricing. And what volatile means is it means how, uh, how often it changes. I guess, or how um, likely it is to change. But guys, Antonio Di Natale picked him up for 149,000, sold him for 185. Nice little profit there. Got another Rolando here that we bought for 12,000. We'll go ahead and list him up there. 17,000 start price, 17,500 by now. And guys, because I have this one up here that's going to expire soon, I'm going to list this one for three hours so they're not too close together. Uh, Lewis Holtby, uh, he usually goes for 2,000 coins, guys, but he's default set as a center attacking mid. Um, and so somebody has moved him to an attacking or a regular center mid here, guys. So uh, those cards go for like 7 million coins, and, or 7 million, gosh, if only, no, 7,000 coins. And so essentially I picked him up for less than the card itself would have cost it, so I can definitely make some profit there. Unfortunately, guys, I accidentally hit list uh, card on Ney. I picked up, I only picked up Ney for like 2,500 coins, so uh, I guess he's up to 1,500 already right now in an open bid, which isn't bad, but guys, if some of these cards so, uh, I'll come back and uh, I'll tell you what's up again. All right, guys, real quick update here. Uh, a lot of my stuff is sold at this point, uh, other than the stuff that I was kind of hopeful on. 
Um, I've got Manuel Neuer, Lucas Berrio, Stefan Kiesling, and Christian Eriksen all here that I'm going to try to make some profit on. So guys, I'm going to list these cards. I'm going to go out and have some drinks for a little happy hour myself. And then I will, uh, hopefully these will have sold and I can show you guys what they sold for. All right, guys, last little update here. I bought Raul Albiol right after I got done doing that last update for about 80K. And I bought Nuri Sahin for 45K. So I put them up for kind of ambitious prices. Raul Albiol especially, I don't really expect him to sell for 105. Is, I think 100 is more around his, what his natural price is. But guys, I'm kind of hoping to use him in my squad, which would be awesome. Uh, I'd shore up my back line a bit more. 75 pace, 89 defending. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, also, team of the year, Sahin. If he sell, or once he sells, it's going to be awesome. But that's why my profit or my coins is looking a little bit low, to be honest, right now. 464k should be more like 600k. I also went out and bought the informed version of Giovanni dos Santos right here, who, to be honest, guys, is actually a great little buy for 10,000 coins. Uh, so go pick him up, give him a shot if you haven't done so yet. Uh, another quick update, guys. I got a Twitter account. I was told to do that. I don't know what Twitter's really used for, uh, but it's Twitter slash Airjapes FIFA, I think is what it is. So, guys, I guess follow me on that if you want to. Um, but as always, guys, if you like my videos, give it a thumbs up. If you like seeing me day trade, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, as this is something that's really, really easy for me to do and something that I kind of enjoy doing and do quite frequently. But otherwise, guys, this is Japes, and I will catch you guys next time.